Right, I'm Glenn Barmer, uh, Assistant Head Teacher in charge of Curriculum Assessment Achievement. A particular role has, has been in the development of Insight for our online reporting. We're very fortunate, Kev and our IT technician team are just the best I've come across. So I remember going to an ASCAL briefing on uh, online reporting because there was the statutory thing that we needed to have online reporting by September gone and colleagues worrying desperately about it and in being introduced to the word interoperability about the problems with talking to sims and everything else and coming back to Kevin saying right we need to do this this is what we need would like it to do how do we go about it and he said oh, I'll talk to task and uh, we had a solution and, and, and it's we had a pilot year last year where we introduced it with 60 parents who in year seven who were able to see a lot of the behavioural and uh, attendance data mostly and this year we've made it live to everybody introducing assessment data and uh, report data basically the ongoing assessment data we collect in sims just feeds directly onto uh, insight and the uh, report data rather than have the report data going on in a separate format we create our reports in sims and then we just have them as linked documents so they're able to access their last paper report and in fact we're hopefully going to go paper free and require parents just to look at it that way soon. The only problems it's generated is about our data quality uh, because once your data is out there and being used and available then suddenly someone's you know you're accountable for it and so therefore there's been issues with that with attendance and making sure prizes are being used properly, issues with behaviour but actually that's been fine as long as we don't have comments that teachers write linked to what the consequences are. And then in terms of assessment data, well, the usual ongoing school problems about making sure assessment data is accurate and is well moderated and rigorous and means something, because once the data's out there and parents can refer to it, then it becomes, you know... But actually, I don't mind those problems, because it means the conversations are happening. I don't mind that accountability, because I know I need that accountability myself to make sure it matters. And so I, my, my teaching staff now uh, know that they must have their basic, the key assessment data, not everything they do, but we now have a mark book for them and SIMS, and most of them are using nothing but that, where not only we collect the reporting data, but the, their ongoing assessments, the key ones, the tests, the level assess tasks, and I know they go straight out there to parents, and really what we're, we're trying to do is make everything efficient, but as a result of it, you know, one piece of data entry by a member of staff used to be in their mark book, no one saw it, now a mentor, a tutor, a parent, a student, and the students love it, Check, they're always on insight, uh, suddenly the information matters and there's power and starts the conversations we need, so it's all really positive as far as I can see. I teach a little bit of IT and uh, in the past you'd worry teaching IT when you're on the other side where somebody sneakily looking at something on the internet and the number of times I've caught someone sneakily trying to have a look at insight and seeing their latest attendance data or did their CP go up there you know, and actually that matters because it's their data, it's about them and that, that you know, it's, it's that three-way communication, teacher, student, parent, and one system that all three can access means that that just, without having to force it, generates the sort of conversations you want to have. So we are experimenting with, with uh, paper, going paperless with our reporting, uh, with the year seven eight reports that are coming out next term. We, uh, I mean, the benefits are not just the, the, the saving in terms of cost and the, paper cost, printing cost, administrative time and so on, but also it should allow us to, to see exactly who's received the report because we can quite straightforwardly produce a, a report showing the access to that data and we're able to pick up those parents that haven't done, whereas at the moment we send them home with kids and we don't know who's got them. We don't know who, which, well, I know from year 11 parents when I talk to them, it's probably 80, somewhere between 80 90 percent of parents actually see the report and now I know exactly who and who hasn't and even if it's a matter of uh, of identifying it and making the phone call home and getting a parent who's not maybe so keen to to look actually to do so and, and again it's all about conversation start the conversation that matters about what's actually in that report